What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today I'm over at the Chattahoochee River at a bridge where I found a bag of a ton of ammunition. Last time we were actually here diving we found a pistol, turned that into the police along with the bullets that we were able to find and it was a very good day of treasure hunting. If you guys enjoy these videos like this don't forget to press that like button first off and thank you so much for tuning in to this video. We're going to go ahead get suited up, get in the water and see what we can find again today. You can see it's a very busy intersection right here. Thousands of cars each and every day actually drive on the side of this road right here. And they're constantly people that are just tossing things out of their windows into the rivers. So I think we're gonna find a lot of cool stuff, but let's check out the site first. Oh, another beautiful day today. You can see tons of people come down here and party. There's trash everywhere over here. But check it out, as you can see, we just made it to the river and it's super clear. I can already see a couple of items in the water. So we're gonna go down there and uh, actually pick those up. Get our video started today. But I gotta go get my scuba tank and all my items first. I've got my mask, which is gonna allow you guys to see everything that I see in my path, as you can see with the GoPro right here. And I've got my light, which is mounted to my mask, and it's gonna give me a clear view of everything that I see underneath the water. But with that said, let's go ahead and get geared up, get into the water, see what we can find. It's gonna be a great day. And if you guys would like to check out Lucas's channel, I will have it linked down in the description below. Freezing. It's like <laughs> 40 degrees outside right now. It's cold. It's not 40 degrees right now. In the water it will be. In the water it will be. Alright, we just got down to the river. We're gonna go see what we can find.
you find anything? Uh, oak glass bottles and a tiny elephant. Tiny elephant? Yeah. That's cool. Ah, uh, just a bunch of Hindi stuff. What's that over on the back? that you guys looks like some sort of rifle of some kind that is amazing first time down there and I find a gun wow I'm right here so I'm gonna stay in this area probably go towards the bridge too or right off the bridge now the current pick it up I'm a gun. <laughs> Dude, that river is rushing. All right, we're at a new spot. Here we go. and stuff like that on it. My next find after that, I found a couple of these cool old bottles while I was underneath the water. This one actually has an eagle on it. Pretty interesting bottle there. I believe these are two of the same type of bottles. So that was pretty interesting. I found this little swirly Thing. I'm not really too sure what it is. It's got a bunch of water and crap in it. And then, basically my find of the day, there's a vape battery there of some kind. A bunch of different other bowls though. You can see these all have like different designs on them. So it looks like they were candles actually. So, some of them have elephants on them, different designs, and things like that. So that was really interesting. I really enjoy finding this stuff because you never, you never really know um, who tossed it in or what, what this was really for. But it's pretty interesting. A bunch of different items there. We're gonna go ahead and go to the next bridge, but uh, 
stay tuned. We're gonna find some good stuff at the next spot. All right, second spot, we're here. We just got to the location. We're gonna be diving. The bridge is actually a little bit further away from where the boat ramp is, but we're gonna be trying to see what we can find here. Um, it was actually some sad news about two weeks ago over at the same exact location They had a kayaker that actually was lost in this section of the river tonight at 11 a search and rescue operation is over and a family is shattered with grief just hours ago a team pulled a missing kayakers remains from the river now his family is forced to start thinking about funeral plans for the father of two CBS 46 is Jamie Kennedy live tonight along the Chattahoochee River where the search ended in Suwanee. Jamie, this comes the outcome just devastating for this young family. Yeah, absolutely, Sean, especially at the start of summer for this family. Now, David Southern, who is the kayaker in question here, this is where he entered the water. Now, it looks all nice and calm at the moment, but it's a very different story. With seven miles away, the Buford Dam is there, and when it unleashes the water, it becomes a raging torrent, something the family thinks may have something to do with his demise. Trying to hang in there, trying to hold on, hold on to hope. A family had been doing their best to hold out that their beloved father, son and husband is still alive. So he's, he's doing his best to, you know, we know that he, he's doing his best to fight. Um, we're doing the same in, in fight and hope. David South and went kayaking on Monday in the Chattahoochee River near Swanee around 3 p.m. His wife and stepson say he never came home. She felt something was wrong since he hadn't been home yet. Uh, she went out there found this truck. Uh, she had Google Maps ping him um, and it was showing that he was still on the river. The family says after searching for him for some time, they contacted police. Multiple agencies responded and began searching for Southen. Authorities say they located his kayak less than a quarter of a mile from where he entered the river and anchored down. The family described Southen as a lovable man who was friendly to all and only bought the kayak around a month ago. He was the type of individual to make friends with anybody he comes across. I'll remember their name after the first try. Unfortunately for the family, late this evening, the news David Southen lost his battle with the river. Now, authorities say that a life jacket was found near where Southern was found. They say that when they pulled the body from the river, there was no life jacket on board. And authorities telling me this afternoon that these signs around are no joke. And please, everyone, take heed because, as we mentioned, when the water is released from the dam, this becomes a raging torrent down here and is very scary for those people who aren't well equipped. Live in Swanee, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News. Jamie, thank you. Um, they found him deceased. It was a really sad story, but there's deep sections of the river and there's caves actually in this section of the river that go underneath the water and it gets really dangerous for people when they tube and float down the river over here. So. All right, so I went underneath that bridge, didn't really find too much. I got this old hammer, which is pretty cool, but there's actually an old silted in car, what I believe is a car underneath that bridge. I couldn't find a license plate or anything like that. It was way too silted in, but there definitely is a car under there. It's pretty crazy. I also came across this grave marker. It's like some, it looks like it's just some sort of plot marker of some kind, but that was really interesting. Um, it was a great day though, out on the river diving. Anytime we get to dive is you know, awesome all the time and I just love doing it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to press that like button. Be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos down below. You know, we didn't find too much today, but it's all about getting out there, going on these adventures and seeing what you can find in the depths of history. We'll see you guys on the next one.